the hell is my phone? I can't find my phone anywhere. Huh. Oh! Hello there! I swear to God, you guys just keep bloody stealing my phone and hide it in random places. But anyway, guys, how's it going, guys? Sir Teapot here. And today we are back with more story of Teapot. And today is the is Thursday the 25th of June and today on the Pokemon calendar oh oh you'll never guess who it is it is Eevee which is quite funny to be fair um but so yeah today is absolutely well you can't really flip and say it minute bloody gorgeous like it's stupid hot today um literally I've woke up and I just don't want to get in, no, I don't, really don't want to put any clothes on, to be fair, it's that stupid warm today, it's like 30 degrees already, and I feel like I can barely breathe, because it's just so humid, so I think today, I'm just going to, don't think I'm going to be doing a whole lot, because it's just too hot to do anything, so I might maybe go out a little bit later, just for like a walk or something like that, because obviously it is a nice day, but also I am doing a British boring letter today, I'm going out about 2 o'clock, uh, for that, so that should be quite good, but hopefully the heat calms down a little bit uh, later on and the humidity calms down a little bit, because do not fancy climbing about a building when it's like this. So, I have now got dressed and everything like that, because I am going to pop out to um, <clears throat> B&M and uh, the DIY shop to hopefully go get a torch, and I want to try and get some anti-allergen tablets because my nose has been bothering me. For like the past like four days because it's constantly itchy. Got anti-allergen uh, pillows, gets allergies. Yeah, got an, <gasps> literally bought specifically anti-allergy pillows, ends up getting like really, really bad uh, itchy nose from it and stuff like that. So, I'm going to get uh, allergy ta some allergy tablets and hopefully clear up this itchy, itchy nose and constant sneezing that I've got. And hopefully then later when I do go urban exploring, um, I don't end up sneezing me guts up every two seconds. So I'm now on my uh, way out to B&M, and it is absolutely scorching today. But uh, I'm in a little bit of a rush, because uh, Kim is going off riding at 11, and it's currently 25 past 10. So I need to get back, right, well, to B&M and back pretty quick. So I'm just going to literally, hopefully, bolt into b and I'm hoping there's no queues, and uh, grab what I need and just go straight away, because... Like I said, honestly, don't have much time today. So I am now on my way home because I've been to um, B&M and uh, I ended up going to the DIY shop as well to get my torches and I ended up paying like 3 99 for one so I decided just to get two because um, obviously I'm going with one of my mates as well so I'm going to give him one as well so at least he's got something to be able to see with. Um, so that will come in handy and to be fair for 3 99 you can't really go wrong and they are really really good so I'm quite happy about that and I've got my allergen tablets and uh, plenty of energy drinks as well so hopefully when this heat does take it out of me a bit later I can actually just have an energy drink and hopefully it'll wet me up again so Kim has just gone um, to horse riding for a few hours and it's just me and Evie now and I've just finished feeding Evie so I'm taking her upstairs and uh, putting her in a cot because it is absolutely red hot today. So I thought I'd put her in here because it's nice and cool and breathe breathable in here. Like you can actually, well, there's plenty of room for her to breathe and move about and stuff like that and get in cold space. So I'm going to put some on for her. Don't know what yet. We're going to find some on Disney Plus. And then I'm going to get this fan on for her. And I need to lift the bars as well because look at her. She's already bloody trying to escape. So, as I said today, it is a very, very, very warm day, and it was very, very warm yesterday. It was quite warm the day before that, actually, as well, to be honest. Um, it's been quite warm for the last, like, God knows, like, three, four days now. So, I thought we were about time. I started on this bit of garden. Well, not garden, courtyard, whatever you want to call it. And it probably doesn't look like I've done too much. Because, um, well, yeah, it doesn't look like I've done really that much. But this, if you can actually see... It's what it used to be like with all these like long bits and all these like sticking out of the ground and all these little bits of like grass in between all cracks and stuff like that. But what I've done over there is just like crack on with it and get on with it and like start basically um oh there's a butterfly. Oh hello butterfly. Um, I don't know if you saw that then. Um so yeah I've just started like cracking on with it and I've uh 
managed to get a decent bit done, but as you can probably tell, it is red hot today. So I'm having like a 10, 15 minute breather. I've got food coming soon as well. I'm having a um, spam and uh, hash brown sandwich. Uh, so yeah, that's on its way soon. Also, the thing that I picked up was the, um, see these metal bits here on these. Um, so this one down here went missing. So, and I found one half of it. I just can't find, well, I found the magnet that goes with it as well. I just need to find the other side that clips to it. Um, but I can't seem to spot it anywhere. It might turn up at some point because this has been missing. Like, I haven't seen this in about, God, like three, four weeks now. So the rest of it is probably somewhere. It's just actually finding it. And hopefully it hasn't been run over by one of the cars or something like that. So I have um, literally just come upstairs from the last clip because, um, like I said, Evie was in her cot and she was awake and uh, normally like Kim needs to get her to sleep um, but obviously Kim isn't here at the moment so like it could be a bit of a struggle for me to get her to sleep but as you can probably tell by me whispering I've just gone in and she's passed out asleep from the heat she's just conked out completely so that's a massive bonus to know that we can now just put her in a cot and she'll go to sleep on her own which is brilliant so I'm really over the moon and proud of her. Obviously, I'm not going to go in and film her asleep because one, it's a bit weird, and two, I don't want to risk waking her up. So I'm going to get downstairs and just play some video games and chill out because, like I said, she's been brilliant and just fallen asleep for me. So it is now half past 12 and uh, food has arrived 10 minutes early and Kim's in the background because um, she's now back from horse riding. She was going to come back at about one, but she's come back early because it is way too warm outside and she got Angel out on um, a horse and literally she touched the sunlight outside and instantly just became like a puddle of sweat. So she decided against uh, riding on her today because obviously a bit cruel to be uh, riding on her on a day like this. Um, so yeah, she's come home basically to food even though she didn't know that she was getting food and she's quite happy about it. But I've got my... Spam and hash brown sarnie at the ready and I'm going to get it down me before it gets cold and I'll tell you something, I am absolutely starving and I am ready for this. So it is now quarter past one and uh, I was supposed to be going out and exploring at two o'clock today but my um, message my friend asking me asking him if he was still up for today and he said that he can't do it today, that he, um, he's got, got something else planned or something like that which is fair enough if he's got something else planned, he's got something else planned so... I'm going to have to find either someone else to go with, which I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's going to be way too short notice to go now. Um, obviously, I don't really want to be going down by myself because I don't want to risk anything or anything like that, just in case like I fall or like hurt myself or anything like that. I at least need someone there just in case something does happen. Um, so it's not really worth going by myself. So I'm either going to try and find someone else to go with. Like I said, though, it's probably not going to happen. Or I'm just going to go a different day with some someone else. But it depends. I just don't know who I'm really going to go with anymore because... Uh, don't know who to ask at this point because um, I was, like I said, supposed to go yesterday with someone else and then that didn't happen. Then I went to go some with someone today and that hasn't happened. So it's like getting to a point now where I'm just kind of like, is it really even worth going at this point? But I am going to hopefully find someone to go with. I think I've got someone specific that I've got that I can go with um, who I'm hoping um, will just, well, uh, hopefully... I'll, I'll be able to just go instantly away and there'll be no issues whatsoever and it'll all just be smooth sailing and we can just go together and get it out of the way. Um, but the uh, problem with, with them is they're quite busy, to be honest, they, do quite a, they are quite a busy person, so trying to find the time with them is quite difficult. But I doubt, when, when we do find the time and we've got the actual time and date and everything like that set up, I'm pretty sure it will be a definite. So it is currently five past seven and... Evie, well, I'm, it looks like I'm about to just go, I'm, but no, Evie is uh, having some food, and she's having chi hearty vegetable with chicken and uh, sweet potatoes, there we go, just Kim shouts it from kitchen, like, sweet potatoes, uh, so yeah, she seems to really, really, really enjoy it, which is a massive, massive bonus, she's just, look, well, said that, and then she pulls faces like that, like, yeah. But she seems to be enjoying it to a degree. And then uh, Kim is currently in the kitchen uh, putting in mine and her pizzas. Which, hopefully, goes better than the pizzas we had the other day. Because the pizzas the other day were absolute disasters. But I've got a feeling... Oops, where did that go? Oh, God. I've just spilt a little bit on her. I'm going to have to find that in a second. 
Um, but yeah, so hopefully they are better than the other day, but they're not Chicago Town ones, so hopefully they are a lot better. So, once again, to absolutely no one's surprise, Evie has absolutely devoured every single little drip of her, every single little drip, no, every single last drop of her food, and she's having some apple and black currant juice now, which she seems to really like. Baby. Yeah, she looks like she's been bloody tangled. Um, so I'm going to give her mouth a bit of a clean eco. Come on, no. <laughs> no, it's not food. There you go, with that a bit cold on your face. <laughs> Another one, you sausage. Ready? No, nope, stop trying to eat it. It's not, it doesn't taste nice. There we go. Right, let's get this bib off as well. And off it comes. Freedom! And there we are. <laughs> they instantly lean forward. Right, put them in a bowl as well. So she seems, she's very, very happy. And But we're giving her plenty of juice and water and stuff like that with it being so hot, so we don't want to risk her getting like... <laughs> getting dehydrated or anything like that. Let's get that air off your chest. Yeah, I don't want to risk be getting dehydrated, so we've um, been putting fan on her and uh, to keep her cool, and we've been um, giving her plenty of water and juice and stuff like that as well. Um, and she's been seems to be all right with it. She's been to be doing really, really well, which is a massive, massive bonus. But uh, I've put uh, my well, Kim. I had to put mine and Kim's pizza in because she couldn't work out how to fit them both on tray. But I managed to readjust the oven around basically and uh, sort it all out. So the both ended up getting in. Um, so they should be ready in about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, and then we're gonna be having that. Where I'm having a meat feast, like barbecue pizza kind of thing, I believe it is, and it's got stuffed crust. And Kim is having a stuffed crust. Yeah, cheese and garlic, which is basically just sounds like garlic bread to me. But so you just with stuffed crust. Yeah, with stuffed crust, which to be honest sounds really, really good. And it's the first time we're ever actually having these pizzas, so it should be quite interesting to see how nice they actually are. So, um, as I said, me and Kim are now having our pizzas and they are now cooked and ready and they look absolutely bloody gorgeous. Not like the Chicago towns where they were an absolute disaster. Um, and this is what... like the Chicago, but... They actually have a good base. <laughs> well, they have a solid structure and base and a foundation. Yeah. Like, they didn't just stick either. They actually came straight off of the trays, which were a massive bonus. Uh, but this is my... It wasn't meat feast. This is a chicken bacon uh, barbecue limited edition one that they're doing at Iceland at the moment and then Kim's literally got garlic bread as I said it which is just cheese and garlic on it but it does smell absolutely gorgeous so I might have to get myself that at some point and I've currently got Evie pulling at my arm because she wants some pizza herself but now she's just <laughs> eating her table which is fair enough if she wants to eat a table that's fine I've not got a problem with that so yeah I'm going to dive into it before it gets cold because and because I am absolutely starving so guys, in the last clip you'll have seen me actually eating pizza. Well, me and Kim eating pizza. And um, after that, literally, we had us pizza. It was a really, 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 really good pizza. Like, it was amazing. A lot better than the bloody other ones that we had. Um, but after that, literally, we um, ended up just chilling out for the rest of the evening and just watching YouTube because it was just too warm to do anything. Like, we didn't, um, like, I didn't play any games or anything like that. I didn't have the mental capacity to play games or anything like that. So we just showed out for the rest of the evening, so there wasn't really much else to film, so I just thought I'd leave the vlog there, really. I was going to outro it before I went to bed, uh, but I never, I just completely forgot, because again, it was just so stupidly hot and humid, my brain wasn't thinking straight, so I just ended up was coming straight to bed and chilling out for rest it, well, for, well, trying to go to sleep, but I couldn't because it was just way too hot. But guys, I need, well, I guess I need to actually properly outro this vlog, so... Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, if you uh, make sure you do leave it a like and do subscribe as well. Also, if you could share this with friends, that helps massively. Um, anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video at 5pm. And peace!